I'm Monica, I'm 48 years old, I am currently a, a teacher and three years ago I had the shock of my life and probably the trauma of my life of having COVID uh, not only once but three times. I feel really lucky that I'm 48 and I feel the fittest mentally and physically that I've, that I've never been and I feel pretty shouldn't say this but I'm really unbreakable and that is one of the biggest achievements. After the third Covid it was really tough because it hit me differently, it hit me with mobility so I had to learn how to breathe again. A, a sort of rebirth um, and I realised that health was like a baby and I had this baby that I had to give time and it was one more baby in my life that I wasn't planning to have. I don't want to sound privileged, but I feel very privileged by where we live in a rural England, where I had the look that NHS said, right, we have a local studio called Spy to Try. You've been having all these symptoms to do with long COVID. Uh, we can see that the breathing and the heart palpitations is not tuning. Let's see if we can try something that exercise can and for me, that sounded like madness at the time. I thought, I'm broken. I am, my inflammation is up to the sky. I can't hardly walk to the end of the road. This is torture. And really when she first came, there wasn't a lot she could do. Uh, breathless, not very confident about exercise. And over the time that Monica was here, over the year, she tentatively came to the swimming pool the first time then joined in with some classes and now is a real star of our classes, does really good things and is training to be one of our instructors. Exercise was fundamental. Without the, without the exercise right now, I would have been uh, on antidepressants, sat in the sofa, very little mobile and probably with a pacemaker. Come on then, Monica. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. And now I haven't got any of that. I'm out of the medication. I'm very more than mobile, more than ever before. I, I, I do a lot of exercise. And what it did, it changed the algorithms of my mind. That was almost Aww. impressive. Was it? It was. Oh, that was that shame you turned it off. I was enjoying that. <laughs> oh. when, when I try all these different exercises, and there was something that inspired to try was running, that is the open swimming. I come from the Canary Islands, I love water and anything to do with swimming. Living by, by a lake, by woodland water next to me, I, I just thought, wow, it would be amazing to swim there. But I'm not an athlete, I haven't done any triathlons. And every time that I thought I wanted to do it, I always said about hiring these, these wetsuits. I thought, oh, here we go. I'm going to have to, you know, a woman like, like me on my size, I'm probably going to have to wear a man one, and then I'm just going to feel like a robot. And it was that element that I didn't, that I didn't really encourage me. That always put me off. Um, so I was talking to, to Mary, I think, I'd love to join, but this thing with the wetsuit, Am I gonna need two wetsuits for my body? You know, I'm just a... And she said, actually, you know, um, I'm gonna give you one to try. When I tried Rocket Science Sports wetsuit, and it did fit in, and the seat went up, and we went to the, to the water. Um, I cannot believe that I forgot that I had a wetsuit on. It, it was really the sensation of having skin to skin. And... I swam in the open water, I turned round and, and I thought, wow, this is amazing. This is actually now, this is life from a completely different angle. Something that always put me off of exercise was like the indoors and having the proper gear of, you know, sort of like the Rambo look or whatever is or is on fashion to, to be in. I, I wanted to embrace and enjoy, and enjoy nature. And, and yes, using that wetsuit and, and being able to do that, that activity just made me want to do it more and more and, and in, a, in a really comfortable way. So when, when I finally did the open water, I thought, this is it. This is the, the best. This is the sherry on the top. This is amazing.
so good. 